Investors. My name is Alok Bhanushali and I am today going to introduce underwriting of shares and debenture for F financial accounting 4. So basically what is underwriting, what is underwriters and what is underwriting commission. Underwriting is an agreement between the underwriters and the company where the underwriter ensures the company that in case the shares and debenture offered to the public are not subscribed by the people such shares and debentures will be taken by the underwriters now who is underwriters underwriters are the persons or institution underwriting a public issue of shares and debenture they are called underwriters they give guarantee that whether the company will not where general public will not purchase the shares or debentures they will take the shares and debentures underwriters may be an individual may be a partnership firm joint stock company bank or any financial institution in return underwriters take the commission the underwriters are entitled to take some consideration for the risk they undertake in underwriting the shares or debentures of a public company so they are providing risk they are providing you the risk so do you will get the underwriting commission in this word the consideration payable to the underwriters for underwriting the shares and debenture it's called underwriting commission now maximum limit for underwriting commission is so they are entitled to a maximum commission of 5% for the issue price of the shares and 2.5% on the issue price according to the company's act 2.5% is for debentures 5% is for shares According to SEBI, the maximum commission payable to underwriters for underwriting the shares and debenture is 2.5% of the issued price. So as per SEBI, it is 2.5% and as per Companies Act, 5% is for shares and 2.5% is for debentures. Next, advantages of underwriting. First advantage, underwriters gives guarantee the sale of shares and debenture. So there is a very less risk for the company for issuing the shares second when there is an underwriting arrangement a company is relieved from the trouble of raising the required capital capital when there is an underwriting arrangement a company can be sure of getting the required capital within a specific period of time and with an underwriting arrangement company need not bother about any market condition so they are free from all the risk all the risks are taken by the underwriters now there are various types of underwriting First, on the basis of number of shares or debentures underwritten, in which there are two types. One is complete underwriting, second is partial underwriting. Complete underwriting means it is one under which the whole of the issue of shares and debenture is underwritten by one or more underwriters. Whole issue is been underwritten by one or more underwriters. So that is complete underwriting. Second is partial underwriting. Partial underwriting means the part of the issue of shares or debenture of company is underwritten by one or more underwriter. So all the shares are not taken by the underwriters, partially it is taken by the underwriters and partially it is taken by the public. Next on the basis of liability of underwriters, there is pure open underwriting or firm underwriting. Pure open underwriting, it is an arrangement under which an underwriter agree to take up the shares of debenture only when the shares of debentures underwritten by him or them is not fully subscribed by the public. So when the shares are not fully subscribed by the public remaining, shares balance shares will be purchased by underwriter second is firm underwriting it is an arrangement where underwriter agrees to buy a definite number of shares and debenture irrespective of number of shares or debenture subscribed by the public so this is a fix a defined number of shares and debenture which is purchased by the underwriter in anyhow in case of firm underwriting the underwriter gets priority over general public if shares and debentures are oversubscribed so if debentures are over shares and debentures are oversubscribed so firm underwriter will get the priority next this is the statement which shows underwriting liability so statement start with gross liability less unmarked application less marked application then that is the net liability we will add firm underwriting which is the number of shares which is already given to the underwriters and then it comes a total liability so this is the total liability total number of shares which are taking which are purchased by the underwriters now what is marked and unmarked application the application received by the company bearing the official stamp of the individual underwriter of the respective underwriters are called marked application so when applications are received there are official stamp of the 
अंडर राइटर्स दे आर नोन एज मार्क्ड एप्लीकेशन मीन्स दोज पब्लिक्स हैव गेट द प्रेफरेंस फ्रॉम द अंडर राइटर्स एंड सेकेंड इज एप्लीकेशन रिसीव बाय द कंपनी डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द पब्लिक विच डू नॉट बेर द ऑफिशियल स्टैम्प ऑफ द अंडर राइटर और अंडर राइटर्स अकॉल्ड अनमार्क्ड एप्लीकेशन सो यर द एप्लीकेशन इज नॉट रिसीव फ्रॉम द अंडर राइटर इट इज डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द पब्लिक सो देर इज नो इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ अंडर राइटर्स इन दिस सो टूडे वी हैव सीन द बेसिक मीनिंग ऑफ अंडर राइटर्स अंडर राइटिंग अंडर राइटर कमीशन टाइप्स ऑफ मैने टाइप्स ऑफ अंडर राइटिंग एंड ग्रॉस लाइबिलिटी ऑफ अंडर राइटिंग सो दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ अंडर राइटर्स अंडर राइटिंग ऑफ शेयर्स एंड डिवेंचर्स सो बेसिकली अंडर राइटिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द कंपनी वेन दे इशू यू वेन दे रेज द कैपिटल वेन दे इशू शेयर्स एंड डिवेंचर्स इट गिव दैम a surety that if the public does not subscribe the shares and debentures underwriter will do it so and uh, it is benefit to the underwriter also they will get shares and debentures of the company as well as they are getting commission of on underwriting so today we have seen the basic introduction uh, in at this point i am stopping my lecture so thank you for everyone for patiently listening